welcome back to Keisha's Closet. If you're new here, welcome. Please stick around. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you have not done so already. In Keisha's Closet, we talk about everything from mostly hair to makeup to fashion and all things beauty and all things that happen in a girl's closet. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell to make sure you get notified every time I post a new video. Okay, so with that, today we are gonna be talking about makeup. Now, I'm not a big makeup girl. I don't wear a lot of makeup at all, but one thing I do love is a good mascara and eyeliner and a good lippy. So uh, I tend to stick to lip glosses and lip stains, but today we're gonna be reviewing these lip paints. So I have five paints to review from the L'Oreal Infallible Paint um, line. Here they are. All nice, beautiful colors for any time of year, really, depending on what you're doing. I have a couple of metallic colors and a couple of matte colors and one just very regular non-matte, non-metallic color that I want to show you guys. Um, so I'll do some swatching. I'll do some, some trying on. I'm going to be switching them out using my FPL makeup wipes. Love these. They smell really good too. Um, so stick around if you want to see what these look like on my skin tone um, and maybe what they would look like on yours. So please stick around. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm super excited because I love lip color. But you know, you never know what it's going to be, what it's going to look like. Some make your lips look bigger, some make them look smaller, some just are the completely wrong color for your skin tone. So I got these all at a really good deal. Um, and so I said, why not? I'm going to get all five of them and I'm going to try them out. So. We are going to start with the mattes. And so I'm going to start with this number 346 festival. Festival. It's this one here. Okay. And I have not tried any of these, so we're gonna be experimenting with these on camera together. Because I have no idea what these are gonna look like on me. <laughs> Hopefully good. Okay. So they are wands, as you can see. I wish I had a mirror with me. I'm gonna get real close to you guys. Oh Lord. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Now, I look like I have ashy lips. I look like Dave Chappelle, yo. Yeah, no. This is, so, this is what this looks like on my skin tone with no liner. I have no liners with me. I just want to do these straight out of the tube. I'm gonna let this dry. So, <laughs> this, this is gonna be fun. So this is the color Festival. Now, I think that if you were going to wear this or attempt to wear this and you are my skin tone or darker, you would just need a darker liner to mix with this around the edges so that it's not so like, here are the edges of my lips. <laughs> you know, cause that's, it feels very much like that right now. Um, yeah, I literally feel like, like this, like Dave Chappelle in the crackhead skits. This is not, this is not it. All right, let's move on to the next one because this one is not is not going to happen. Okay, next up, it, let's go with the, the next matte, which is the last matte, and that is this little darker one. This was called Velvet Pout. It's a really pretty color on the tube. <laughs> so let's see what it looks like on me. Again, all of these will be wand. Already better. Quiet bunny. That's my dog. Okay, so I think this one is a keeper. Still, because it is a lighter color matte than it looks like in this tube. There it is. Really pretty. No, my dry skin. Really pretty. This one is a keeper. You would still need a liner with this, most likely, um, because it is um, 
super light on the edges and I feel like that just doesn't do well with blending in my face or on my face or on my skin tone. So I really like the color. It's really pretty. This one's a keeper with a liner. So if you are probably a shade or two lighter than me, you might not even need a liner with this, but I feel like with, with my skin tone and deeper, you'll need to blend the edges out a little bit with a liner. Okay. Next. Now let's go with the regular non-metallic, non-matte. This one is called Topless, but spelled like the color taupe. So Topless, Topless. And this one I feel like is very close to this velvet pout, just not um, a matte and with a little less of a purple tint. So let's try this one out. Hopefully this has a nice natural shine to it and isn't too light. It smells really good, actually. Um, again, I think just this color is just not for my skin. So this is, God, it smells really good. It really does. So again, this is number 310 Topless. Um, and I think, again, if you're my skin tone, so far it's like you just really need a liner with these or a deeper color around the edges to blend in um, because wearing these alone is not going to be it. No. Okay, let's take this one off and then let's get into the metallics. I'm kind of scared. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to start with the light one and then we're going to go with the deep one because I think this is going to be the winner, if any. Um, and so this is called Galactic Foil. It's number 332. It is a metallic from this line. I'm scared, y'all. Oh, it doesn't look... Okay. Okay, hold on. I really like this. <laughs> this is cute. Completely not what I was expecting um, of this coming out of this tube. So this is a really pretty color. It has a nice um, darkish pink tint to it. It feels really good. It doesn't feel drying at all. Um, I really like that. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's cute. Um, so this one, Galactic Foil, is a keeper. The first one that I felt like nothing needs to really be done to it for me to be able to wear this outside of the house. So, yes, we got one. One out of four so far. <laughs> Not too bad. They were cheap, so I'm okay with that. And the at least one of the other ones I think I'll be able to pull off if I um put a liner on with it. This is number 334, Smoldering Eclipse. I want to really like this one. I love the color of the tube. Um, and so we will see what the color actually looks like on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, this is it. This is beautiful. I love this color. So this is the other metallic. Um, and it's a it's a keeper. This one, these two are the two metallics, and I really like both of these. I think these are really good for my skin tone. So if you're my skin tone or deeper, I think these would pop and be really cute. Um, these, not so much unless you are a makeup queen and can do all the blending and add the liner and do all the multiple colors on your lips at once, then these are <laughs> these could be for you. I'm not that. I am very basic when it comes to makeup. Like I said, I really only do eyes and lips. I have one foundation that I use um, 
every once in a while. Um, and that's it's more like just to protect my skin from the sun. <laughs> it's not even really for anything other than those purposes. But lip stuff, I love. So if I want to recommend these two girls of my tone or darker, I would recommend the Metallics, um, especially in the color Galactic Foil and Smoldering Eclipse from the Infallible Paints L'Oreal Paris makeup line. Um, go out and get you some. Again, I found them on, like, at a really good price at a discount store, so I will, I'm not sure where you can get them, but I'm sure any drugstore or makeup store most likely has these. So feel free to pick you up some. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments like do you feel like the two that I'm feeling are good for me I mean I can like wear these out in public around people when we're allowed to leave the house again that would be cool um and if you feel like I'm not seeing something in in these that there is let me know that too because when I look at these I'm not seeing anything <laughs> that could be worn out in public Okay, with that, um, I'm going to close out this video. Again, I would recommend the two metallics for the darker skinned girls. For lighter tones, the mattes and the regular might work for you in the colors that I showed. Um, if you're interested in this hair, this is Role Model by um, Curls, Kinks, and Co. Collection. One of my favorites. It's a half wig. Super easy, really bouncy, beautiful curls. Um, great for warm spring days like today. Um, it stays off the neck. It's really light, bouncy, effortless, easy, not in the face. Nothing to glue down, <laughs> nothing to do anything to really easy and nice quality hair, which I'm sure most of you know about this unit, but just in case, that's what I'm wearing. I have a review on it. I'll put a card up top. Okay, with that, thank you, ladies. Thank you for joining me in Keisha's Closet. Again, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, do I have a giveaway for you? I do. Hold on. So I've decided that while I am in channel growth mode, I'm going to do a giveaway with every video that I record. The easy way to enter is to subscribe, like, comment. That is it. And then I will pick a random winner to win whatever the giveaway is in each video. So for this video, we are going to be giving away this Eva NYC. Uh, can you see that? Sort of. It's the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. Okay. Um, it is a two fluid ounce bottle. So good enough to do it at least once on your hair, depending on how thin or thick your hair is, maybe two or three times. If you'd like to win this, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. And again, I will pick a random winner to send this out to uh, in a couple of days. So usually I will leave these open for three or so days before I pick a winner and then I will announce the winners. So thank you for watching my video. This one has been a long one, um, but I appreciate you sticking it out and um, be sure to enter if you want to win this. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you back in Keisha's closet.